What's up everybody and may the 4th be with you. Today we are finally going back to Star Wars The Old Republic to try to pick up on all the patches and updates that I missed since 7.0. They've got 7.5 coming up in the next few months or so, maybe possibly even this month because it's supposed to be spring. So I guess we'll see when that actually hits. Um, but the last time I played was pretty much when 7.0 dropped. Uh, there's a new mission out. There's a few. I think there's like two or three of them. Uh, the first one we'll have to do here is this digging deeper. And they've also got some stuff going on right now because of May 4th uh, Star Wars Day coming up. They have a few rewards. I think there's like double XP right now. You can also get this Phantom Menace uh, bot or droid that just follows you around, which is kind of cool. That's completely free. And if you redeem the code MALGUSWEN on the SWOTOR website, then you can actually unlock like a Malgus decoration for your strongholds. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're going to jump right into this mission here. If you guys end up enjoying this, though, leaving a like on the video makes a huge difference. If we get like 20, 30 likes, I'll try to do a, a few more videos. I've been wanting to do another playthrough of this game. I've always it's always in the back of my mind and it's one of those games that I absolutely love so if you want more that really helps out that lets me know and then I'll do my best to pop out some more episodes but uh let's let's go ahead and launch this let's get right into this mission here see what I've been missing out on and then once we uh I don't know if, how long these are actually so I don't know who will like make just this episode the digging deeper mission or if it'll be this one and everything else uh, I guess I guess we'll kind of see now I know usually there's like a cutscene that you get right here but I had something that that kind of broke the cutscene and I, I haven't found a way to reset it unless if there's a way because I, I had to skip through it for a second to check my settings and it doesn't prompt me into the cutscene again so let's see unless if maybe if I do this here Maybe this will put me into it. Here we go. Oh, nice. Sweet. Kira, are you all right? Honestly, I'm not great. I see. Then it is fortunate I came along. I think so, too. This feeling gets worse the closer we get to Elam. Everything Sorry. about Elom is unpredictable. Will you two be all right? What Kira is experiencing is unusual, but there's no cause for worry. Not yet, at least. Hmm. Besides, we really shouldn't pass up a chance to figure out what's happening with us. When you came back from Elom, Scourge and I both got this weird feeling, like we just uncovered a memory. It's unclear, but familiar. Like a dream. I tried to help Kira and Scourge clarify the details of what they sensed, to bring their feelings into focus, but my guidance could only do so much. We all agreed that further exploration was necessary. Scourge traveled to a place I am unfamiliar with. There are ruins there that he suspects may have a connection to Darth Null. I wish the big guy was here. I can't remember the last time I did something like this without him. It is for the best. Your paths will join again, though you must walk alone for now. My hope is that being in the presence of this fortress on Elam will make sense of the strange feelings you are having. And whatever these feelings are, if they have something to do with Darth Null, then maybe they could help you figure out what Malgus was trying to do. Hmm. Guess we're about to find out one way or another. The hand of the Empire's recovery team should have plenty to tell us. Here we go. Man, it's been so long. Honestly, I'm a little lost at the storyline and everything, but I'm sure it'll it'll all come back. It's crazy how... So this sniper that I'm playing as is still one of my original characters I ever made. And we've gone through a few name changes, but even with that, it's crazy to think. Before we discuss anything else, it would be best if Kira and I familiarized ourselves with this place. We'll meet you at the camp after we look around for a bit. I promise we won't break anything. Okay.
Here we go. Speak with the recovery team. All right, let me see if I can do this real quick, actually. Uh, Because right now we've got the interface. I want to see if I can up the conversation. Because uh, the, the text is really, really small. Uh, if I remember correctly, that I don't know if there is a way you can or not. Let's do number two now. Let me pause this for a second. Okay, cool. So yeah, I was able to up the size of the subtitles. Uh, so now that this should be good for the future conversations. Let's actually go ahead and follow this quest here. So we got to speak with the recovery team, which is right here. Talos. Talos. Now Hello it might be again. a little bit too large. I am beyond we'll honored <laughs> to see your interest in our progress. This has certainly been one of the most intriguing expeditions I've ever participated in, even after all my time in the reclamation service. And working yeah, with Colonel Gola has a been a bit. truly enlightening experience. Interesting. It sounds like you've achieved much working with this team. An apt observation. Believe it or not, this fortress may not have been as isolated as we first believed. Sifting through the wreckage, I have uncovered several artifacts that bear striking similarities to relics discovered on previous archaeological digs, on worlds far from this one. Once the relics here are thoroughly documented, I will conduct a full investigation into these connections. Perhaps you could provide a map that identifies other locations Amalgus targeted. Oh, I shudder to think what other priceless sites he may have ransacked oh God, if you hadn't this stopped him. Overlaps it. Yeah, we might have to change that a bit. That's okay, though. Uh, good work. This sounds promising. I look forward to hearing more. If you are so inclined, I would encourage you to examine some of the relics for yourself. You'll find them around the camp. Even the uninitiated can feel the power radiating off of them. But I do ask that you use caution when handling them. Do let me know if I can be of any further assistance. Okay. Examine the relics from Darth Null's temple. So we'll actually do this real fast for the uh, interface editor. So if anybody needs to do it as well, you just go to conversation. And right here you can see conversation subtitles. I, by default, the global scale is right there. I changed the scale to 2.65. I'm going to bump it down to 2. And then I'm actually going to drag uh, drag this up a little bit. Because what I'm also going to do now, too, which I didn't realize, was this response wheel. I'm going to up the scale of that, I think, a little bit. That way we can see it better. Oh, there we go. Because the global scale is going to change the size of everything. But if you just want to individually change this... Should, that should do it. Um, all right. So now it's just going to be between be between this. That should still be fine. Go ahead and save. And uh, that sh yeah, that should be good there. Let me see if I can talk to him one more time just to test it. Nope. Not eligible. All right. Let's uh, investigate these. Relic vibrates with unseen energy. Examine the relic. Scan the relic. Walk away examine it. The relic bears a striking resemblance to artifacts that you saw in the Dark Temple on Droman Kost. Oh, okay. Although there is something familiar about the relic, you can't quite determine its purpose. Alright, let's check out this one. This obelisk was recovered from the ruins of the fortress. Examine the relic. As you examine the obelisk, you notice tiny wires arranged around the base. They are obviously meant to connect to something. Okay. I like how we put our hand out to examine it. <laughs> like that that helps. I I can feel something within the the relic, even though I'm not force sensitive. Yeah, I didn't know what companion to run with this quest, so I just brought HK51 out again. All right, the relic of Null. This large relic appears to have grown from the ruins of the fortress. It looms silently over you. Examine the relic. You examine the artifact along its edges. You see what appears to be a circuit 
hopping. As you inspect the circuits more closely, you find grooves matching the wires from the obelisk. Blissick. Okay. Speak with their recovery team again. Colonel Barden Gola. And this guy. Colonel Barden Gola, Imperial Reclamation Service. I'm glad to make your acquaintance. We've been incredibly fortunate to have Colonel Gola join us. His expertise has been nothing short of invaluable to this team. Thank you, Lord Rivik. Such high praise. Especially considering the results of this mission. What do you mean? I've led many expeditions that were largely successful despite their dangers. But this one is unusual. Our time here has been relatively uneventful, yet we haven't learned much. Every fragment of every artifact found in these ruins has been examined twice over, but we still can't conclusively say why Darth Null built the machine inside this fortress. Hmm. But with you here, perhaps we'll grow closer to solving this mystery. Anything you and Lord Rivix could tell me about your time here would be helpful. No. <sighs> I don't believe it. Uh -oh. What's happening? That feeling I couldn't explain. I didn't think it would be this. This was from Darth Maul's machine? That Malgus destroyed? It was. Darth Null. She was a child of the Emperor. What does that mean? What is a child of the Emperor? The children of the Emperor were a secret weapon. Kind of like the servants we stopped from killing Master Satil. They've both been around for centuries. The big difference is the servants blindly follow the Emperor. That wasn't the case for the children. The Sith would take people and implant them with a small piece of the old Emperor's power. Then he could control them, make them do whatever he wanted. Most of the children weren't even aware of what had been done to them. Not until it was too late. But the Emperor is gone. If he had any control left over the remaining children, that connection has been severed. This begs the question. Why would Malgus take such an interest in a pawn of the former Emperor? A centuries-old pawn at that. Hmm. If only there was someone who could tell us more. What are you thinking? It sounds like you already have someone in mind. Indeed, I do. According to the records we obtained, two dig teams were originally sent to Elam, one from the Republic and one from the Empire. Every member of both teams has been accounted for except one. A young Jedi named Sahar Katin. All of our personnel files indicate that she's the Padawan of the Jedi Historian who led the Republic's expedition team, Master Denom Orr. We need to find her. If she's the only surviving witness, she could have much to tell us. And you're gonna ask her nicely, right? No Sith interrogation techniques. That is something to decide when we locate the Padawan. But finding leads will take time. Until then, I have a suggestion. Speak to Malgus. Okay. You think he'll say anything? Not willingly. But the certainty he's placed in his own schemes can be used against him. If that fails, I'm sure that a little... encouragement will compel him to reveal something useful. The path forward grows ever longer, it seems. Alright, let's go have a chat with Malgus himself then. Oh. Oh boy. Wow, the, the uh, I will say the graphics have kind of imp definitely improved over the years, especially of her faces. Crazy to see. Recon? It's me. It's Sahar. <laughs> oh. 
Wait. Rakan. Please. Stop. What is wrong with you? I risked everything to be here and you won't even listen to me. If I hadn't saved you, who knows what these slavers would have... What in blazes are you talking about? I'm not a slave. But... But I thought... You left. You don't know anything. This should have been my fight. My chance at greatness. But you stole it from me. Again. I'm... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Rakan. For everything. I shouldn't have spoken to you like that, and... And I'm sorry for leaving you behind. I regret it. All the time. I would give anything to go back and do things differently. I know I can never completely make it up to you, but... Please. Can I at least try? You're all I have left. Whatever you need, I can help you. I don't need you. Damn. But I do know someone who can use you. Follow me. Keep up and keep quiet. Or you're finished. Oh boy. Alright, so that's the first uh, quest down there. Let's see what, what comes up. Alright, so now we gotta go interrogate Darth Malgus. Where's he at? He's here in the Imperial Fleet. Honestly, I didn't remember. <laughs> It's been a while. While your allies search for the missing, speak to Darth Malgus on the Viking space dock and question him about his interest to Darth Null. All right, now how do we get there? There it is. Yeah, it's been a little bit since I last played, so don't mind me trying to catch up again. But yeah, I've, I've always been excited to return to Star Wars The Old Republic. It is, this is probably one of my favorite games ever, if not my favorite game ever, because of all the main storylines uh, for each character and class. Same thing with all the possibilities, the chapters, like once you actually get to Eternal Throne and all that. So good. So good. Here we go. Go have a chat with him. There you are. We tried warming him up, but it went about as well as you'd expect. He wasn't particularly forthcoming. Perhaps you'll have better luck? Please talk to us. There's no reason for us to fight anymore. It would be better for everyone, especially for you, if you told us what you were planning. You're really not going to say anything. Mm. Give us some privacy. Are you certain? Trust me. I think this is the best way to get him to say something. We'll leave you to it. Don't let your guard down. Oh boy. Let's have a chat, Malgus. Come on, you can talk to me, man. You can talk to me. Oh boy. Looking like a boss right there. I want to understand. You and I are very much alike. I couldn't stand it when my mind was at the mercy of another. I don't fault you for wanting to break free. But there's one thing I don't understand. Why are you so interested in a child of the Emperor? <laughs> he 
You are hopeless. Oh, he's speaking. What did you say? You are a fool. A witless, miserable wretch. And your desperate flailing against the inevitable is pathetic. You fail to see what was right before your eyes. Darth Null was no child of the Emperor. She was the first. The mother of them all. Darth Null created the children of the Emperor. She hunted the quarry. She broke them. Indoctrinated them. His power. His will. But her methods. Her inventions. Until the Emperor no longer found her useful. Everything Null had on Elon was destroyed. No one can use those machines anymore. Do you think a Sith like Darth Null had no other designs? Do you think the secrets buried in that fortress will stay hidden forever? This is beyond your control. Everything my plan required to succeed has happened. My vision will come to pass. Nothing you do will stop this. Damn. I've stopped you once. That's what you believed the last time you tried this. What happened then? You failed, Malgus. Whatever it is you started, I'm ending it. <laughs> Oh. Okay, return to the Alliance operations. It's always cool getting to have a chat with him. I I still love Malgus as a character. He's so good. Um, man, it I real I will say it really uh, it definitely takes away from the experience. Because unfortunately, all the music is extremely copyright, so it it just gets dinged every single time. I'll try turning it to like ten percent. That way we can kind of kind of hear it, and maybe it won't pick it up. But it's yeah. I really hate that. I wish that they would just make a Star Wars copyright-free soundtrack where it's not all the traditional songs, but it's something that just. It's just this, even if it's like two or three songs, just back to back on repeat, uh, or just any time a song that would be copyright uh, hit, just disable it. Just just don't even play it and play the other songs that wouldn't be hit. That that's the biggest thing I would request for any Star Wars game in the future, because every single time it just gets hit. Doesn't matter. This is really annoying. But anyways, moving on to the next thing. Let's go. Man, I haven't been back here in forever. Return to the Alliance operations. Wow. I really I really liked a lot of the uh, the Alliance Master, stuff too. We continue liquidating the undesirables? <laughs> I always thought it was pretty cool. Like there's so many different routes that you can go with not even the, the giant expansions, but even the Alliance. Like I started working with uh, since this character is a light, light-sided sniper, uh, it's funny because we started a an agent. You, there's stuff that you become a double agent, and then now we're a double quadruple agent again. I don't know. It's so confusing. But we're still like on the side of the Darth Null created That's the weird. children of the Emperor. That's way worse. Malgus must have wanted to create something similar. An army of unwitting slaves. It's terrible. I thought he was better than that. Really? You don't strike me as the type that sees the good in everybody. Did Malgus say anything else? <laughs> Wait, he said that capturing him stopped nothing. That Null's secrets wouldn't stay hidden forever. Sounds like he was bluffing. Scourge and I spent years hunting down the last of the old Emperor's followers. And even we didn't find anything about Null. And since we became aware of her existence, 
No one in the Force Enclave has found anything. Non-existent records. A ruined fortress. The Emperor obviously got rid of Null and destroyed all of the evidence for good measure. Not everything, apparently. What do you mean? While you were questioning Malgus, Darth Rivik sent us these audio files. They were recovered from a datapad his team found after you left Elom. Expedition report. Day 4. Jedi Master, Denon Orr, Elam Recovery Team Leader. The more we examine the powerful device at the center of these ruins, the more concerned I become. There is a dark energy that radiates from it. One that I recognize all too well. I fear how being so close to it affects Sahar. But I must put my uneasiness aside for now. My focus must be finding and destroying the holotron Null left here. Mm. All of her designs, her plans, could be within. I will not stop until I erase every last dark stain left by the children of the Emperor. I must rectify all that we have done. He was the child of the Emperor. The children of the Emperor had a Jedi in their ranks. He wasn't the only one. Master Orr mentioned a holocron. I didn't see one at the recovery team's camp. Neither did I. Didn't see anything about a holocron in the artifact list the recovery team sent over. So, we've got a missing Padawan and a missing holocron. Could be unrelated, but I stopped believing in coincidences a long time ago. We should focus on locating the holocron before someone else decides to use it. And there's no guarantee that it's in the possession of Master Orr's Padawan. Okay. We need to save Sahar. I don't like that she's out there alone. Finding her should be our highest priority. I like this plan. Any major decisions can be made once we actually locate Saha Kadeen or the Holocron. Fair enough. This has all been... a lot. I think I'll go meditate for a while. While we're on the subject of locating Darth Null's relics, I believe Arkan has an update on the investigation you tasked him with. The search has been... difficult. This world is even more unusual than Santa Ray could have prepared me for. But I found something. There are ruins here abandoned long ago. What is left of the walls are covered in strange markings that I do not recognize. I tried to go further inside, but an overwhelming force energy keeps me from entering. Whoever left this place did not want it disturbed. Without a closer look, it will be impossible to learn anything about what Darth Null left here. I'm sorry. I feel as though I failed you. You did your best. We know more now than we did before you left. That's something. If Argon requires assistance, I am ready to offer it. I will go to these ruins and search them myself. I would appreciate any support that can be spared, but the final decision is yours. Hmm. You can do this alone. Uh. Then Sana Ray. Then Sana If you Ray. need help, then it's yours. Sana Ray will join you soon. Thank you. I will prepare for her arrival. And we'll return to Odessa as soon as we know more. I will not fail you again. That was everything on the agenda. Alright. Keep up the good work. I appreciate all of your hard work, but there's still so much left to do. Let's get back to it. Very good. Clear your head. Where are we gonna go? Head to your personal ship's landing zone for a well-earned peace and quiet. Oh boy. Definitely, <laughs> surely nobody will interrupt us. Surely nothing is going to happen to, uh, to distract us from having some peace and quiet. Yeah, I kind of wish, I'm not going to lie, I kind of wish there was like a recap uh, of everything that's happened so far. 
but I know that would be, I mean, yes, you could go through all your characters, your choices and everything you made, but it's been so long. I just wish there was like some sort of cinematic of here, here's where we are right now. Because it's, it has I been a no while. information for you, master. Shall we continue liquidating the undesirables? But that's okay. I think that's the other alternative, like, to if I ever do a second character. Or, like, I've been wanting to create, a, like, a Force-sensitive Jedi and a Sith and go with their respective routes through all night. this again to kind of capture, like, see what it's like playing as a Jedi or a Sith all the way through. Like, a Sith dark side all the way through a jedi light side all the way through from main story all the expansions all the uh chapters and then catch up to where where the main story is today and kind of see the differences between them uh but unfortunately that's a, a huge time investment and in order for me to do something like that i mean there not only needs to be not a lot of re releases in game or like as far as games go but I want to make sure I do it during a time where people enjoy it too. Cause it, it it would be cool. That's something I've I've been wanting to do for a long time now. Cause it, I mean, this really is like Bioware. The the light amount of Bioware that we have today. So even like. The, the music right now it's got me nervous Chate, you answered Shay Vizla it's good to hear from you Shay it's been a while since we spoke like this that it has been a long hunt but I found the vermin's nest it's on an old dirt ball of a planet called runic looks like the traitor got a lot more spineless parasites to rally around her than I planned for hmm I know my limits. I can't take her down alone. Too many fools standing between her and me. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh. But if you help me cut through the trash, I'll make her face me. We can end this once and for all. It's time for Hedda Cole to pay. Oh boy. Oh, and there it is. Yeah, so that right there is the story mission. Must select one of your rewards. Relic of Null, Holocrine, Pillar. Can you, can you actually like preview what these look like? Oh, okay. I see. Really? You only get one or the other? I'll take the holocron. Kind of cool. <clears throat> and then it puts us into the next story mission. See, this is kind of why I wait over time to do these missions. Because uh, doing only one of them would be a very, very short experience. I mean, we didn't even get to do any combat or anything there. Um, but... Let's see. Let's actually go ahead and we'll, we'll start this next one. I don't know how much progress we'll be able to make here, but we can at least get it started. Do you wanna, are you ready to begin at rock in a hard place? Yes. So I think this was like 7.3 is the update for this one. So that's Runuk, Heta Cole's base of operations. That's right. I also managed to piece together more about her. One thing doesn't track. She moves like a Mando, fights like she's been trained by the best, but I couldn't find a clan affiliation. I'm certain she's one of us, but it's strange. Whatever she is, people follow her. Years back, she ran a small team of outcasts for a while. They became her inner circle. This group was responsible for several raids against both Republic and Imperial interests. She owes nothing to either side. 
In fact, looking at her targets and the chaos she left behind, it goes much deeper than gathering resources. I'll trust your instincts on this. Hedda Cole is proving to be a lot more than just another warlord with a blade. She has a plan. What else did you learn? She's gone to great lengths to hide her location. False trails, dead contacts, and now runic. The planet is in the middle of some kind of electrostatic storm. Messes with communication and navigation. Prime location for a hideout. After the ambush on the Spirit of Vengeance, she's been busy building up her forces, applying pressure, and making the occasional threat to a number of clans. Rumors say her group is making a move soon. We'll stop them. Someone I can count on, so I can focus on answering her insult. A Mandalore expects opposition. All Hedda had to do was name a time and a place, but her attack was a knife in the back. Now that I have a location, I need help getting close enough to see those blasted horns on her helmet. Make no mistake, she's mine when the time comes. Is that clear? Uh, I won't stand in your way. Understood. This is between you and her. Meet me in the hangar. My stealth craft should get us down to the planet without being spotted. But when the time is right, Hedicole will hear my challenge and see my blade. Oh boy. Okay. So we get to, I always thought it was pretty cool how like, Shea Vizsla was a character that they had in the game for such a long time. And you could, you could recruit her, you could do everything, but she just never had really a voice, I guess you could say, like never a dialogue option like this, um, or like a plot, a storyline aspect. You just kind of did her quest, you got her, her intel or received a message, and then she joins you. And then she's one of those companions that hangs, hangs around, but they never really say anything, kind of like HK. Um, but then in some of the more recent ones, they finally, uh, in the recent updates here, they finally gave her a voice and everything. So now she's an actual character that's uh, related to the story that's happening. And speaking of that, let me see if I can actually bring her out as a companion. That way it's a little bit more realistic. There's so <laughs> It's crazy how many companions you can have too now. Like, it's literally insane. The amount of people that you can bring with you. Where is she? she? Might be one of the original few. I totally went past her. David La. Uh, my my. I know she's here. Because I almost called her out the other day. Hold on. Hold. Hold. Somebody. I know there's somebody watching right now saying, Bro, you just you just passed her. You just did it again. She's right there. Wait, what? I don't see her, actually. Koth, Sharon. Senya. Maybe you can't bring her out for this? Let me see if she shows up all the way at the bottom. Oh, here she is. Oh, yeah, you can. Huh. Yeah, usually you're able to. I mean, even... Dude, it would be, oh, it'd be so cool if you could just bring, like, even Malgus out as a companion. But, yeah, that's that's definitely on my to-do list is to, to actually do a storyline of playing as a Sith user or a, a force user on both the uh, Republic side and Imperial side and play their like, you know, as a Jedi, play the light side, as a Sith, play the dark side and see what, what happens all the way through. We're in position, Mandalore. And for the record, I'm not fond of this plan of yours. I hear you. But I won't risk her bolting if that storm can't hide our fleet. You could be walking into a trap. I'm counting on it. <laughs> I've got her back. I'll keep an eye on things, Jakai. See that you do. Mandalore. Good hunting. Oh, 
Well, well, look who it is. I knew I should have packed my spaceship crashing pants. Ras Ordo. Right in the middle of all this, I see. You know me. Hate to disappoint. Load up, everyone. Take off in three. Time to sharpen our blades. All right, here we go. Woonak. I have not been here at all yet, so I think now I'm pretty sure this is one of the uh, the newer locations. Well, it, it's got to be. Cause, yeah. Here we go. Here we go, Runic. Lots of rocks. Big mining venture a long time ago, but nothing since. Hmm. Probably because of that. Wow, sensors are not pleased. Lots of noise and false echoes. Take your positions. We're going in. The attack on the Spirit of Vengeance, now a base way out here. What changed? A lot of credits. Raids, Clan Harangir's old money coffers, stealing cartel drops, it all adds up. Hedda builds her army with real Mandalorians, but uses Darmanda mercs as blaster fodder. They're perfect for her. No loyalty to anything. Some of them live up to the name, others are just happy to take the credits. Makes sense. I'm betting half their troops don't even know what Darmanda means. And <laughs> okay, we're close. Daddy I know they Death, have a base down here, up there. but I had to back off before I could pinpoint it. I use the same eyes uh, recording profile Hang on! as I do for streaming. So, if you catch me at a good time, then you get featured in one of these. That's a little bit of a Blast, rough that was a probe droid. Everyone good? We're fine. We need to track it down fast. Wait, give me a sec. Okay, there. Take this data spike. This signal is a little weird, but it should get the droids working for us. Brass, I'm expecting some reinforcements, so keep an eye out. Understood. And for the record, I prefer watching a crash landing over being in a crash landing. True. <laughs> That's just not... She's like, all right, sure, whatever. Everybody stay off comm starting now. That storm's giving us some cover, but we don't know who's listening. Got it. All right, let's actually make one quick change. Uh, I just want to bump up the, so the conversation thing, I want to move this up a little bit because sometimes it, it overlaps the thing on the bottom, on the bottom. Go ahead and save. That should be fine. All right, here we go. Slice probe droids. First instance of combat for this for this video, maybe. Come on, we need a better view of the area. All right, we're going, we're going. That's nice that it swapped her in as the companion. That storm is cutting down visibility. Hedda picked her hideout well. It's kind of loud in some areas. Wait, is this is it the whole area? Oh, okay. Yeah, we just got to slice rope droids. Use it when the droid is shut down and it's self uh, repair mode. Got it.
All right, it's been a little bit, so it's going to take me a second to get used to this again. So don't mind me. Uh oh. All right, now we can slice it. Slice it up. That's the one. It's damaged, but we can't chance it sending an alert. Data spike is online. The droid is sending an all clear. Rass and his weird signal did it. I'm also getting locations for additional droids in the area. Let's track them down. Come on. I kind of forget why, but there was, I remember there was a reason why I switched back to, uh, cause for a while I was doing the damage over time. Abilities and stuff, but now I'm currently specced as marksman this for my character. Let's move on. Yeah, for a while I was under the, what was it, disciplines. Yeah, the virulence. I remember that was like really high damage too compared to everything else. And then I did unlock Commander or Commando on my main character as a secondary, uh, which I, I, I still love that you're able to just like mix and match now. I think that's so cool. I, re I always remember a lot of people loved and Operator is, is really cool too. But I ended up going, I mean, like I said, this is one of my first characters I ever made, so... Back in the day, all I wanted to do was get in cover as a sniper. And, uh, do some cool damage. And that's exactly what I did. I've never been the one to go for, like, highest DPS ever. Like, I know I'm not gonna reach or be the best of the best. Just to have a good time. Play a class I enjoy and have a good time. Like, I don't even know how, how even active this game is. I mean, it's still still got a decent player base, without a doubt. But I, I still don't really know, like, how active of a community is. Or, to be honest, like... How many years left this game has? I mean, I I hope to see it around for many more. But I guess we'll see. That that is my One more down. the One thing more that left. I I fear the most is the day where they no longer give resources for this game because the main story and everything I I, I love them so much and. I, if it ever happens, I just hope, I just hope so much that they give like an offline mode or something where you can just play it without having to connect, even if it's the same content. Just anything to keep the game around and not shut it down for forever. Well, I have to see what happens. All right, one more. Stalling data spike. That should be it. With the conditions out here, they must swap these out regularly. Let's see if we can find where they're coming from. Got it. Oh, it, what? I tapped R. Oh, I tapped R to reply. <laughs> Start typing E W because I was trying to walk. Wait, is it? I thought. Wait, what the heck? I thought R was also auto run. Doesn't seem to be doing it though. All right, let's not drive off the cliff. I am kind of happy that uh, all these droids and everything out here are not are not 100% hostile, so we don't have to run through every single one. We just had to get the ones that we needed, and now we can continue on. Oh. Here we go. Pull in here. 
Oh god. It's a lot of mercenaries. But you can't do that while fighting. Oh, right. I'm trying to do this. Straight up wait, wait. Them. We're just technicians. You work for Hedda Cole. Who? No, Darmanda hired us. Look, we came straight from orbit. No questions asked. Some kind of top secret thing, okay? We're here to check on some droids. Then you have no value. Hold on! Darmanda has another group of techs down here. They're setting up a relay station to cut through all the storm interference. All comms will go through there. That's worth something to you, right? What are you doing? Basque will kill us! Where's the relay station? Oh. Oh. You must be the smart one. Talk. I, I don't know. Not exactly. But here, take this. Maybe there's something that can help in there. So, what happens with me? Boy. Time to make a choice. Kill her or knock her out. Yeah, we're going light side with this guy, so. Don't knock concern her out. yourself. What? <laughs> as light side as we can be. Maybe. Let's get this back to Ras. Alright. Return to Ras Ordo. We just need to go back that way. Still not the one, I guess. All right, back to the way we came from. But yeah, if you guys have been playing this too, uh, let me know what classes you guys are or if you have any suggestions. I'm not sure how much traction this video is gonna get. I don't even know what I'm gonna even title it just yet too. <laughs> Cause it, it's kind of, it's hard to to just put this out, out as a video without any like context um, behind it besides hey I'm catching up to all the latest updates for 7.5 7.5 is coming soon and I've been having an itch to play some Star Wars Old Republic lately and I decide you know what now's the time even if I do it as a as an off stream thing but we'll see I still, the, the problem is with streaming on the release of these is like you only get like 30 minutes to an hour worth of content a lot of times. And then like after that, it's the rest of the stream. You're just trying to figure, okay, now what do I do? Oh, go run some dailies. All right, sure. I mean, that's fine. But I I love Star Wars Old Republic for the main story or like the, the Have plots, you found anything useful on that device, the choices. Right? I did, despite a few interruptions. Reinforcements are here. Boy. Not surprised to see you here, Akavi. You've been instrumental in helping against Hedda's forces. Hedda Cole owes a debt of honor. I would see it paid. A few more blasters to make sure we don't get eaten by some kind of rock monster. You said you found something. We'll talk later. Yes, some fancy slicing and a bit of math, and I've got a likely location for the relay station. I've gotta say, this would be easier if we used comms, even if they're glitchy. Silence is just slowing us down. We won't have to remain quiet for much longer. When the time is right, it'll be a firestorm. That relay station gives us an advantage on the ground and might put us on Hedda's trail. About that. Maybe let us handle the relay station? I've got an idea about that trail you're looking for. Go on. 
Well, the data from the device got me thinking about Hedda's base. You know where it is? Not exactly. Here, look at this. I added the relay station data to the patrol routes we got from the droids. See that? I mean, it's a lot to cover, but it's something. This is good. There are only a few places her base could be. We'll need to do this on foot. Wish I had my old hunting strill. Wait, you had a dog? A strill. Oh, they're the best! Rass. Right. Okay, yes. Second team will head to the relay tower, and you two will search for the base. Alright, got it. Let's get going then. Before you head out, take these. A little something I've been working on. Let's you listen in on the bad guys. Might be handy. I'll go prep. Give the signal when you're ready to move. Got it. Okay. So we got hidden signals. And it looks like there's even a plot for this one, too. Scan for the base of operations. Cool. All right. Well, we are actually going to end this video right here. So I got some stuff I got to do. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, leave a like on it. I am going to try to record the next episode uh, very, very soon. So I'll pro probably put it out. Happy May the 4th if you are watching this day. I appreciate it. Thank you for stopping by. Join the Discord if you want announcements every time I go live or any time that I post a new video. For now, that's it. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.